Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day four of Vlogmas. It is still December 3rd, it is the evening and I'm filming this a little bit early because I want to get started on Blood and Honey tonight and then do some uh, reading tonight and then I'll finish the vlog tomorrow. I did pre-film the unboxings and whatnot. So it's going to be jumping back and forth a lot between like real time and unboxing time. Um, plus I have a few things I need to get done tomorrow, so it'll be interesting to try to finish this 500 page book But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the vlog All right guys, so I'm going to be periodically jumping in as I reach these chapters with these interactive a touch of magic designs art prints I have five different art prints here um, and then it has the chapter header at each one so I will share with you what the art print is at each one. So we're only about 36 pages in and I just finished the warning bell chapter and wow we are intense already. I think we're only like four chapters in and it just got real real quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the clip of me opening the artwork for this. And we finished a warning bell. The artwork is, ooh, our girl Lou. Okay, I just finished page 82, which was the chapter in which Lou's hair gets dyed white. And I just wanted to pause here and take a second because I saw so many art prints with Lou with white hair and I've seen so much artwork and Funko and marketing and whatever with hair of Lou that is white and I really thought it was going to be a much bigger deal than it was in the book. Like I thought it was for a really cool reason, not necessarily the reason it was in the book. So that was a little bit like disappointing I guess, but it's still cool to finally see it play out. But otherwise, I'm going to take this moment to go ahead and transition to the Echo Bath unboxing. So the first box I'm going to open is the Echo Bath or A Court of Books and Families box. So yeah, let's get started. So the first item I'm pulling out is the Fable Bands headband. So let's open this up out of the plastic. All right, so here is the headband. It says all kinds of names all over it. We've got Louisa Blancba, Reed, Coco, Reed, I already said Reed, um, Burgard, Zoo, Ansel, all the names on there. And then we've got some swords and daggers and angel wings in between. So let's put this on. Oh, that looks so cute. Next thing in here is a envelope. And then it is a, oh, this is a spoiler card, so I'm going to set this aside. And then um, in the envelope, we have, oh, a little thank you card. How cute. So we have this little, um, like, promotional graphic or little, what is the word? Just, like, art card? I don't know. And then in the card, it says, Stay Witchy, XOXO, Echo Bath. Next item down in here is an enamel pin. And it is an infinity sign with... Um, all the names around it and then just some cool designs down in it. It almost looks like an hourglass in a way. But here you go. Next is another pin and this one is a devil's mask with a moth or butterfly. And then it says Samuel Eternal more rouge and here is the pin and this item is actually wax melts so these smell of heartbreak honey and silence and are labeled the end of the world and they smell really nice next is a what looks like almost a tapestry and then there's a little thing that says thank you very cute so yes it's a little tapestry that says troop to fortune today only in saint Louis. And I'm probably pronouncing all of these words wrong, but this could be almost a cute pin banner as well. And the next item down in here was a mug. And this is a scene from Pan's Patisserie. 
And we have Coco over here just drinking some cocoa. <laughs> um, and then we've got Pan's Patisserie. And then it's Into the Woods where I believe that is Lou. Um, actually, it might be Coco. Really hard to tell when the um, skin tone is darker due to the night. And here is that same scene depicted from the mug just on a little art card. You know, that might actually be Coco now that I can like look at them at the same time. Next is our blanket and I'm pretty sure this is going to be huge. So I will do my best to show you what this blanket looks like, but it just keeps going and unraveling and going and going. So let's see what I can show. Oh, here we go. We got, oh my gosh, this is huge. So we've got Reed. Then we've got Lou. Okay, this is too big. I can't stand very tall. And then this is a pre-order incentive I received for submitting um, work for the pre-order. <laughs> um, and the first is a very uh, spicy scene going on there. And oh, so here's what the blanket looks like. Perfect. And then the last item in here is our book sleeve. So let's open this on up. And the book sleeve is our very uh, spicy scene here. Um, I honestly don't know if I'll keep this. I really was excited about my first Agabash sleeve, but I don't think I'd ever be comfortable using this in public. Um, so I don't know, but it's, it's a very nice quality. So it makes me excited to pick up their Serpent and Dove book sleeve. Also, there's something down in here. So let's see what this is. Okay, it looks like we just got prints of everything as well. The last item in here says danger spoiler on it. So if you haven't read Blood and Honey, I guess skip ahead so you don't get spoiled. And here is our spoiler print. And then the last item, I got this um, with the Acobaf. Um, So I'm assuming it's actually that print and they just thought, oh, okay. So it's not the print, it is a little mug rug almost I'm gonna say so it's the same artwork as that spoiler item all right so now that we've opened the Agabeth box let's head back into the reading vlog all right so I just finished the chapter white shadows I'm now on page 112 and in white shadows I got to see um, a really intimate scene between Lou and Reed however one of my observations is that Lou seems to be fainting quite a bit in this book already. I feel like she's fainted at least two or three times already. I think three at this point and we're only a hundred-ish pages in and it just seems very different from the Lou we got to know in Serpent and Dove and I'm not sure if I'm enjoying it. So that's where I'm at for this evening. I made it to page 112. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the um, opening of the art print and then read a little bit more and then probably call it a night and yeah. All right guys, I just finished White Shadows, the chapter. So let's open this one on up, All right? And the artwork for White Shadows is <gasps> Lou and Reed. Love it. The artwork on Lou is absolutely incredible. I love the artist's rendition of her face. Number one rule of getting stuff done slash not getting killed is you don't split up. And what do they do? They all split up. Someone's gonna die. I swear it. But anyways, I just made it to page 138 and that's probably where I'm going to call it for the evening. Um, it is out of 100, I don't know where I'm going with that. Um, it's out of 532 pages, so I have quite a bit to try to get done in the morning slash tomorrow, um, but I'm pretty tired, it's pretty late, so I'm going to finish at page 138 for tonight, and uh, right now I'm going to flip over to the Fairy Loot unboxing, so enjoy! Next box we're going to open is the Fairy Loot Blood and Honey box. So, spoiler card first of all. Okay, so the first item I'm pulling out is the blanket for the fairy loot box. 
very huge as well very comfy looking and let me see if I can find the top here and the blanket says Shelby Mahurin what you are now is not what you've always been nor is it what you will always be you are a snake the next quote is shed your skin if it no longer serves you transform into something different something better so I'm glad I was able to show off that one okay so next item in here is the book and this is the fairy loot exclusive so it has I'm just gonna set that over there um, it has the sprayed edges it's almost like a chromey aluminum -y gray and then it is signed by Shelby and then there is under the cover artwork and here is what that looks like it is the scene from the carnival or circus in which Reed is throwing knives at Lou and then the thing I set aside was the bonus chapter next is an art print of Lou and Reed and then also Ansel and Coco next is our enamel pin set and the first says Lou makes fools of us all darling and the bottom one says the world needs a wit less hate and a trifle more love and here is the pin set up close Next is a candle that says La Forette de You, and I am probably pronouncing that completely wrong, but it smells of witch patchouli, distressed leather, and fruits. It is a woodwick candle. Next is the Blood and Honey Major Arcana Tarot deck, and this deck has gold sprayed edges, and then here is the back of each of the cards. First, we have Lou. Then um, I'm probably not going to be able to name all of these just because it's been a second since I've read Blood and Honey. But then we have Coco. Um, I think this is Reed's mom. Forgetting her name. Then the Prince, Bo. Then we have... I think that's the, like, <laughs> antagonist. Like, the guy that was always up against Reed at the... Um, place where he originally was from wow killing it then we have Lou and Reed then we have I'm not sure that who this is off the top of my head Reed Hermit I'm just kind of going through them all now instead of trying to name them all These are seriously so beautiful. Like, look at these. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're back to the beginning. The last item in here is a little tin. It's black with like gold and silver detailing, but it said, blood is easily given. Tears, the pain that causes them, are not. And it's just a little storage tin that is probably for like a tea or coffee. I think it is beautiful and will sit nicely on my shelf. But that is all for the fairy loot box. Hi friends, so it is now Friday and I did read quite a bit this morning. I'm now on page 334, which means I did pass blood drops and red death and his bride so i'm gonna go ahead and cut to those art prints just finished blood drops so let's find out what the artwork is oh look at coco go all right so we finished red death and his bride and the artwork is yes love this artwork yes 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 1000 times yes this is probably my favorite um like i don't even need to see them all to know this is going to be my favorite okay so as i said i was on page 334 i'm going to go read until page 440 about 100 pages away that is the chapter titled something new which is the last art drop but while I go read that, I'm going to let you guys watch my candle box unboxing. 
and yeah i'll check in with you guys later at 100 pages we'll do the art drop and then i'll finish the book and tell you my thoughts but so far i'm really enjoying it it's been pretty good to be honest the characters are getting kind of annoying they keep fainting or arguing or fighting with each other or doing stupid things and they just seem a little bit out of character almost but i'm still really enjoying it it's a complex feeling I've got going on here but I'm excited to keep reading and we're back with another unboxing the next one is the witch in the chasseur flick the wick box so here is the spoiler card gonna set this aside as always and the first item I'm pulling out is a beautiful mug that says I was no one's sacrifice not then not now not ever and here is what it looks like it's just a nice like enamel um, or ceramic, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, mug, black on the inside. Be probably really great for coffee um, or hot cocoa if you're me. And here we go. Okay, next looks like a tapestry of some sort. And it's just green with a serpent and dove on it. And it says, love makes fools of us all, darling. Next is this adorable little keychain pouch. And it's just a little zip up pouch and it says, evil always seeks a foothold. We must not give it one. And here is what it looks like up close. This would probably be good for like um, a headphone set or like a little cord, like a power cord for your phone, maybe even jewelry or something small you wanna just keep in a safe place. And it's really cute. Next is an enamel pin. It says, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And here is what the pen looks like. Next is just like a wooden print, um, pretty thick, but it stands up. It's got a hole where you can like put the metal rod in to help it stand. And it says, there are some things that can't be changed with words. Some things have to be seen, they have to be felt. And this is actually the quote that I got in my blood and honey box or not box, my blood and honey book when I pre-ordered it and was able to have Shelby write something in. That is the quote I chose. Next is the very first candle and it is Lou LeBlanc and it smells of green leaves, cedar, blood orange. Oh my gosh, that might be like the best scent I've ever smelled in a candle. That is incredible, wow. I might like, if they have extra of these in the shop, I will buy them. For the pure scent um or like wax smells or something that'd be awesome and now no blood orange is my favorite scent <laughs> and then next is reed diggory and he smells of palm sage sugar and pineapples and oh my gosh pineapples are what i thought was my favorite scent so i'm excited to see what this smells like yep these are probably the best smelling candles i've ever gotten in a box I'm so happy. <laughs> Next is a double-sided sturdy bookmark. This side says, if you are unafraid to look, darling, you are unafraid to find. And then the side says, ask me no questions, Mon Amour, and I shall tell you no lies. The very last item in this box is our double-sided print. And on this side, it is a quote that says, what you are now is not what you've always been, nor is it what you will always be. And then this side is, um, a print of Coco and Lou being awesome together. And it almost looks like the Haunted Mansion in the background, but I love this art print. So without further ado, let's head back into the reading vlog. So I just finished something new and made it to part three and it's starting to pick up again. I'm noticing a consistent thing in her books in that the first half of the book is kind of slow and then it picks up in the last half slash last three fourth or last fourth or whatever you want to call it um and yeah I am enjoying it now a little bit more than I was and I have about 90 pages left I think so I'm gonna go finish that and then wrap up this vlog all right so this chapter is something new let's see what the print is all right, so you ready for the print? Here we go. Oh, look at Lou and Reed. I almost said Rue and Lead. Very cute. I love the artists that they find through A Touch of Magic Designs. 
Hi friends, so I finally finished Blood and Honey. It is now December 4th. It is very about seven o'clock and I just wanted to say that I did enjoy Serpent and Dove more, but this was still really good and I, I, I enjoyed it. It does suffer a little bit from middle book syndrome, but overall it was enjoyable and I'm excited to pick up the third book. And before I close this video, I wanted to open the day four gift from Book Gizmo. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so look how perfect that is. I mean, I'm probably not gonna drink it because it's coffee, but I swear I didn't plan this, but it's Lou's Sticky Buns Coffee. That's so funny. Okay, that couldn't have gone any better. I also did purchase some art prints from A Touch of Magic Designs. I'm not going to share them all, but I did want to share this one specifically because it is Serpent and Dove themed, and it is the whole gang. So we've got uh, Bo, Coco, Ansel, Reed, and Lou, and oh my gosh, I just love the artwork on this. But that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts on Blood and Honey were, and I'll check in with you tomorrow for my bookish wish list. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.